The Miss America organization continues to feel the effects of a bombshell report from Huffington Post published Thursday, revealing vulgar language used by top brass to describe former Miss America contestants via email. Here are the latest developments, as they happen. After three other top Miss America organization leaders resigned in the wake of the email leak, a fourth, board member Tammy Haddad, has also left the organization, USA Today has confirmed. Haddad joined CEO Sam Haskell, Chairman Lynn Widener and President Josh Randall, who have resigned in the aftermath of the report. The published messages showed offensive language Haskell used to describe 2013 Miss America Mallory Hogan, commenting on her sex life and weight gain. In one exchange, Haskell forwarded an email from Haddad to a Miss America executive, in which Haddad referred to some former Miss Americas as a pile of malcontents and husbands who blame the program for not getting them where they think they can go. Right double quotation mark. She added, 80% of the winners do not have the class, smarts and model for success. Right double quotation mark. In another, Haddad described Gretchen Carlson, who won the Miss America title in 1989, as a snake and seemingly plotted retribution against Carlson for her refusal to comply with the organization's request to speak out in defense of Haskell, according to the Huffington Post report. Haskell went down swinging as he was placed on leave Friday, offering fighting words about the context of emails. Much of what was reported his dishonest, deceptive, and despicable, wrote Haskell, in a statement disseminated by the Miss America organization. The material is based on private emails that were stolen three years ago by ex-employees. The story is so unkind and untrue, and hurts me, my family, and the stewardship of this non-profit. Quotation mark. Current and former Miss America take to Twitter. Hagen, the former Miss America winner who was the topic of the leaked emails, reacted to the resignations of Miss America leadership Saturday night with a video. I wanna say cheers to my birthday, and just the day in general, because it's been a wild one she said while holding up a wine glass. Many of you have written and sent your congratulations or condolences and I just want to say it's been a pretty awesome day. I would be remiss if I didn't say thanks to Brent, Adams, the Miss America organization employee who spoke with Huffington Post, and all of the women in the Miss America organization. Quotation mark. She continued, we would love your support and encouragement, but we also need your voices still. We're not quite there, but we have much to celebrate and I look forward to sharing the journey with all of you. Quotation mark. The most recent winner of the pageant competition, Kara Mund, also tweeted, sending a positive message with a photo of herself on Saturday. Do you remember the first time you were asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Since kindergarten my answer has been, and always will be, Miss America, the winner from North Dakota said. The 2018 Miss America used a pun to reflect on the difficulty of having the scandal break during her reign. Please remember it is after the heaviest of rains that we discover the greatest of rainbows. Quotation mark.